Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I have a product I've been trying to get to Taco Bell for some time to review this and this is the new or now somewhat new crunch wrap sliders and I went through the drive through and got all three tonight. There's a BLT version. Spicy chicken. And beefy cheddar. And of course, I've got the uh, napkin sauce, but there's no receipt, so I can't tell you how much they were each. And of course I picked up my favorite Baja Blast. <sighs> okay, so here we have them out of the wrapper. This is the beefy cheddar. You can see each one has the grill marks on here. Of the tortilla. This is the spicy chicken and this is the BLT and you can see that they're large enough they take up most of these plates and they all look the same except for what's on the inside. Okay let's see if I can keep straight what order I had these in. I feel like Doug Henning here. This is the BLT and I have the wrapper here it says your traditional BLT done the Taco Bell way. Crisp bacon, lettuce and tomatoes, topped with a creamy avocado ranch sauce, and crunchy Fritos chips. I think I do smell a hint of a bacon aroma, so let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Uh, bit right into a Frito. I can definitely taste that. And bacon and tomato. I like that bacon flavor. So found that bacon to be crisp too. Now to the spicy chicken. Our signature shredded chicken with a creamy chipotle sauce and again the crunchy Fritos. And that would be this one. Mainly smelling tortilla on this one. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Plenty of Fritos in here. You can hear the crunch so it didn't get soggy. Last but not least, the beefy cheddar, which has their classic seasoned ground beef, which I like. Drizzled with nacho cheese sauce, topped with cheddar cheese and crunchy Fritos. So we've got double the cheese in this one. This one also doesn't have much of an aroma coming out. So let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, the Fritos are definitely the center of attention on these. It's always the first thing in there. When I hear the word sliders, I can't help but think of the 1990s television classic starring Jerry O'Connell, a Shakespearean thespian whose brawn was only exceeded by his rapier wit and keen intellect and also starring that babe from remote control what was her name oh yeah that's right what a name sounds like one of colonel clink's old girlfriends she went on to an illustrious career in direct-to-video movies now sliders is returning but only on netflix how did the company that 
delivered your grandmother's DVD in the mail, end up as the top digital company in the world? What kind of pictures of Hollywood executives did the Netflix CEO have in his possession? And what were they doing in those photos that they've been able to do this? If the CEO of Blockbuster had those same pictures, we'd all be learning how to program the clock on our VCRs right now. Be kind. Please rewind. Please rewind. Well, there were several surprises here. First of all, I know I would seen some reviews online where people did not like the BLT, but I actually thought it was great. It was, it has a lot of bacon and it's, it, they're not strips of bacon, they're more like these bacon bits, but they're real bacon, not some sort of uh, reconstituted dry thing and the bacon is crisp and it has a good flavor and this uh, the creamy avocado ranch sauce is also very good it's got more of the ranch buttermilk flavor than avocado it's slightly sweet but it goes very well with the bacon the lettuce was fresh one of the criticism you hear often of Taco Bell is people say well everything's the same uh, just with a different name over again this is uh, I don't think they got enough credit in that they actually have something new there with this BLT it's somewhat of a breakthrough product for them so I'm going to give that one five stars I did not expect I would now for the spicy chicken the strong points of this spicy chicken one is the chicken itself has a great homemade flavor. It's just like you bake the chicken yourself. And then this chipotle sauce is sort of a smoky, it's almost like a barbecue sauce. I thought this was very good and I'm going to give that five stars. And finally, the great irony is that this is probably my favorite, the beefy cheddar, but it's also the most predictable and the, the temptation would be for me to give it a four stars because this is something that we all have had before in some form at Taco Bell, but having said that, that nacho cheese sauce flavor is very much on point and the I've always been a big fan of this classic seasoned ground beef. So it has a classic Mexican flavor from Taco Bell. And so despite it being not all that revolutionary, I still have to give it five stars. This uh, Baja Blast is like a fine wine that goes perfectly with these three sliders. Somewhere downtown, somebody's paying $100 for a bottle of wine right now, and it's not as good as this Baja Blast. So definitely go through the drive through at Taco Bell while they still have these. And I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.